take a close look at these intriguing images. I'm certain that your loved ones, friends, clients, and social media followers will be captivated. Now, without further delay, let me walk you through the tutorial step by step. Iman Global YouTube Channel Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube Channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, let's get started. Do you want to create eye-catching anime and cartoon styles for your customers' photos that will capture their attention? Do you want to convert your friends' and family's photos into stunning 3D images that look like they came straight from a Pixar or Disney movie? Styler.ai is a cutting-edge AI platform that empowers you to effortlessly upload your images using the image-to-image -image feature and, with a simple click, seamlessly customize their styles. Currently, style presets such as 3D Pixel, Pastel, Minimalist Cartoon, Caricature 3D, Graffiti Splash, Pixel Art, and more are available for free on Styler.ai. So, if you want to easily turn your photos into artwork with just a few clicks, without needing photo editing skills like Adobe Photoshop, and without requiring specialty hardware such as a graphics tablet or advanced equipment, don't miss out on this tutorial. Stay with me until the end to learn how to effortlessly convert your photos into beautiful artworks. Iman Global YouTube Channel First, we visit the Styler website. As you can see, this website is Styler. We create a free user account on this website. This is the Styler website dashboard. We freely and optionally answer the welcome section questions. Answer to the first question, I am a designer. Answer to the second question, I generally work on photography. Answer to the third question, I heard about Styler from YouTube. Now, I click on the Start Creating button. By default, our free account has 200 credits, which will be recharged for free every 7 days after depletion. Scrolling down, a thumbnail view of a large number of artistic styles for applying to photos is arranged. These styles are categorized, and you can see the list of categories next to the Choose a Style title. For example, I click on the Character Design option, and only styles suitable for character design are displayed. To start a project, I click on the New Project option. I change the project name. Then I change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and dimensions to 1280 by 720. Clicking the Apply button sets the configurations. From the left menu, I click on the Import Image option, then select and upload an image from the hard drive. Now I click on the Image to Image option. From the Choose a Style section, we can access various style presets that are applied to our image when selected. There is a box for inserting prompts. We can either write a custom prompt or use the system's automatic prompt insertion. I click on the Auto Prompt option. Styler's artificial intelligence analyzes our image, recognizes all its elements, and generates a prompt based on it. You can edit the prompt completely personalized. From the drop-down list choose a style, I select a preferred style. Using the slider, I increase the Structure Match option. This option adjusts how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of content structure. Now, I click on the Stylerize option. After a short while, the results are displayed. I review them. If the results are not satisfactory, I click on the Stylerize option again. After a short while, four new images are generated. I review them. I click on the Stylerize option again. After a short while, the results are displayed. I review them. I like some of these new images, so I select them. Using the Place on Canvas option, I add them to the workspace. On the right side, there is a panel called Layer for managing layers. With the eye icon, we can toggle layers on and off. Right-clicking on a layer and selecting Delete removes it. I turn off all layers and keep only the main layer active. In this state, I click on the Image to Image button. To improve the generated images, I use a new prompt. Now, I click on the Auto Prompt option again. After a short while, Styler's artificial intelligence analyzes the image and inserts a new prompt based on it. Now, from the Choose a Style section, I select a new style called Flamenco Dance. I increase the Style Intensity option to enhance the impact of the Flamenco Dance style on the image. Now, I click on the Stylerize button. After a short while, images with the new style are generated. I review them. To achieve better images with Styler's artificial intelligence, I click on the Stylerize button again. 
After a short while, images with the new style are generated. I review them. Now, I select some images and click on the Place on Canvas button to add them to the Layers panel. In the Layers panel, by toggling the eye icon on and off, I find and hide layers, comparing the before and after images with different styles. To export the output, I simply turn on the eye icon for the desired layer. Now I click on the yellow export option located in the top right corner. In the new menu, in the file type section, I choose the image format between PNG and JPG. In the image size section, there is an option to increase the image size up to two and three times. Here, I select the 2x option. I click on the export button, and after a short while, the image with my desired settings is saved to my hard drive. I want to test and evaluate the performance and impact of Styler's artificial intelligence on images with different styles. I turn off all layers and keep only the main layer active. In this state, I click on the Image to Image button. Now, from the Choose a Style section, I select a new style called Paper Cutout. I increase the Style Intensity option to enhance the impact of the Paper Cutout style on the image. Now, I click on the Stylerize button. After a short while, images with the new style are generated. I review them. Now, I select some images and click on the Place on Canvas button to add them to the Layers panel. In the Layers panel, by toggling the eye icon on and off, I find and hide layers, comparing the before and after images with different styles. Now, only the main layer is active, to achieve artistic and beautiful images with another style from Styler's artificial intelligence, I examine. Now, from the Choose a Style section, I select a new style called Delicate Aquarelle. I increase the Style Intensity option to enhance the impact of the Delicate Aquarelle style on the image. Now, I click on the Stylerize button. After a short while, images with the new style are generated. I review them. Now, I select some images and click on the Place on Canvas button to add them to the Layers panel. In the Layers panel, by toggling the eye icon on and off, I find and hide layers, comparing the before and after images with different styles. We wanna chase the Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you learned something new or found it helpful, please support the channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting. You can also express your love for the channel by clicking the super thanks button below each video to make a donation. More AI tutorials will be coming soon, so please stay tuned. See you in the next tutorial.